What's up, Mercs? It's John here with some more Dark Souls 2. Last time, I got my ass kicked by a pickaxe man, and today, we're going to the Duke's Dear Freya. Okay. At least the pickaxe man is dead. What a douchebag, though. <laughs> like, he hits so fast. It's ridiculous. And there's still another red phantom that I didn't even deal with yet. Granted, this one's not nearly as hard, because he's not using ridiculous bullshit. Nope. 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 God, the fucking... The, the NPC phantoms are so good. Are literally so good. Like, they are amazing at this game. They really are. They're better than players in most respects that I have faced. I don't think I fought a player this good. I mean, I fought good players, but nothing like this. See, the reason they're so good is because they have unrealistic stats. I mean, they have way too much health. Even, I'm dead. Even for a max level, they have way too much health. And they're way too fast. I mean, they basically have 99 adaptability. And they know the perfect times to hit, too. Oh my god, that would have killed me. Holy... Fuck! No! Leave me alone! No! Fuck this whore. She just like teleports the other direction and kill and hits you. I didn't mean to use the Estus. Oh, fuck yeah. You wanna fucking die, whore? Oh. Where are you going? Okay, so range is always the best way to take anything down. That's AI. Fuck me, that was retardedly hard. God. Whoops. Yeah, I'm like a badass. Okay. Let's go on in. Why am I even doing this? I don't know. For the rusted coins, I guess. That's better than nothing. Because, I mean, the engraved gauntlets are in the other one, but... as you Oh, wait, no, this is the engraved. This is the rusted coin. But as you can see of what I'm wearing, I don't really need them. Let's need some herbs. I guess I'll keep this weapon on. Actually, yeah. Well, this weapon's a little bit overkill for now. I think I'll use this, and then on the boss fight, I'll use that. Oops. All right. Here we go. Into the spider den. I hope I don't lose here because or die to Freya. Because I don't really want to fight those things again. At least I want to fight the red guys again. They're dead. Oh man, this axe is so much fun to use. Oh man, if they both surrounded me, I would have had him in right there. There we go. Like a pro. Take out this. Grab soul of a. Oh my god. <sighs> no, we can discard one. Really? Were there like three there? This is really annoying. What? How many are there? Four. 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 It's really frustrating when it doesn't let you pick items up. Like, it, I can't pick any of the items up here because I have too many of one of them. That is one thing that Dark Souls is... That's fucking stupid. Like, their inventory system, the way items work in this game, with picking them up and the number, how you can carry them, 
it's broken because of that. Like, oh, you can't pick up this soul because you have too many gold pines. Why the fuck can't I just pick up the soul and not the gold pines? Like, what the fuck? And if I have, like, 97 gold pines and there's three on the ground so I can't, I can only pick up two of those, why can't I just pick up two? Why do I have to always pick up all of them at once? It doesn't, I mean, it, the way they did their inventory system was lazy. Like, I'm not even, I'm sorry, FromSoft. Although, you've done a lot of things wrong, FromSoft. I, I'm not really sorry. You kind of, you've done a lot of things wrong. Soul Memory, which I heard is being fixed in the DLC. I don't know, I can't confirm. But, um, I, I don't know what they would even do with it. I have ideas of what they could do with it, but I don't know if they're going to. Uh, but, FromSoft really messed up. I mean, this is a little small gripe I have, when you can't pick up items because, you know, one item you have is full. That's just a small gripe, it's nothing big, obviously, but it's just annoying. It's frustrating, you know. Okay, with the Dusk Herb. Jump down here, and we'll take out all the spiders in the world! Maybe not, because there are a lot of spiders in the world. I don't like spiders. Yay for Ractophobia. Hello, how are you? Ow. Okay, I don't want to die before I even get to the damn boss fight. So. Ah, look at you, tracking. You got some tracking on you. I, I used half my Estus already, and I'm not even at the boss fight. Well, I am at the boss fight, but I didn't use them for the boss fight, which is really bad. Wanted to save them, but what can you do? Okay. Let's go ahead and summon our friend, Ash at Night Boyd. Which I actually did a cosplay of him before. Let me just confirm something with him really quick before we go in. Just want to confirm something. Cause yeah, I didn't think so. He doesn't use a shield. I use a shield with him. I put a, a royal great shield on. Not a great shield, a royal normal shield, kite shield. Because he used the royal armor, the royal knight armor. The royal soldier. So I use a uh, royal shield. I hardly ever use it, though. People are like, oh, he doesn't use a shield. I'm like, ah, whatever. He doesn't. But you know what? I don't use it. I just have it just for parrying. Okay. Time to go and fight her. Wee. I don't want to fight her. I hate Freya. I mean, last time I had a really nice and easy time with her, but... That was last time. This is this time. Who knows? Off we go. The most fucking annoying part of this fight are these little douchebags. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Past her leg when she does that. I guess I can just... Oh, God. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what attack is this? Yeah, keep on doing that. I'm fine with that. No, not this one. That one's not, well, I mean, I mean, it didn't hit me, but that one's not assisting my cause of killing you with faith. God, Freya's such a pushover when you have a knight. When you have the knight. Knight, stay away! I can't believe I almost died like that. Knight's gonna die in a second. Oh, there goes all my stamina. Hey, if I keep her over here, then she'll just go for, or she'll go for me, not him. I wish I knew how much health you had. Mm. 
not enough to beat me. That's GG. And, as you just saw, we didn't get our soul, did we? Or did we? Wait a minute. Am I just being stupid? No, not really. We didn't. Yeah, oh, we did. Okay, okay. We got more than just her soul, is what I'm trying to say. We got more than just her soul. We got a new soul. The old Pale Drake soul. This once magnificent soul. Magnificent. Wow. Yep. Magnificent. You know what? We're gonna stick with it. Magnificent. This once magnificent soul continues to exert influence over the land even after the eons have reduced it to these remnants. Just realized they have the boat. They have the same exact definition. Magnificent. Yes, I know. So the old Pale Drake soul is another soul you get. Uh, another New Game Plus soul. This one can get you, I think, two things. Uh, very good things. I think both, both mag yeah, both magical things. I'm pretty sure it's only these two, maybe more. These are only two that I've ever known. Uh, but then again, I don't really. There are a few things about Dark Souls that I always forget here and there. But so these, the two things we can get are the Crystal Soul Spear. Which is a very powerful soul spear. Very good. Um, it's it's very, it's really good. It's a good way. It's just a good spell. Uh, I don't use spells though. Or we can get the moonlight great sword, which is a bright blue uh, great sword from Dark Souls One that only does magical damage. So if you're a mage, it scales extremely well, and mages can get up to really high. Uh, damages and plus its special R2 attack is like this magical burst that shoots at people. It's really cool. It, it's one of my favorite magical weapons in the game. It's I love using it on my mage builds. In fact, I have a battle mage build um, that uses it, and it's it's so much fun. But it's a good weapon, really good. I believe in Dark Souls One you use the Pale Drake Soul from Drake the Seathless. I I want to say that, and that's how you made the Moonlight Great Sword. Not a hundred percent sure. Because, to be honest, I've never made a made a boss, boss weapon in um, Dark Souls 1. Because I'm a fucking scrub. <sighs> I was never good at Dark Souls 1 when I... Like, I always enjoyed Dark Souls 1, you know, in, I was into it. I never was into it at the beginning. And I got more into it Dark Souls 2. Which really sucks, because Dark Souls 1, I mean... It was a good game. I just never got into it. And it really sucks, because I could get into it now, but... I don't know. Which is really bad. Plus, the port on a PC is not so great. I mean, DS Fix fixes a lot of the issues, but it's still not the greatest thing in the world. Okay, so Duke's dear Freya is dead. The lot that sinner is dead. So who next? Well, the Smelter Demon. But I've had trouble with that, obviously, for a specific reason. So instead, we're going for the Smelter Demon. Uh, well, instead of going for the Iron King, uh, well, Smell Dream, then the Iron King, we're going to go for... Did I say Last Sinner? I mean Lost Sinner, but I was looking, because I always get confused with Lost and Last. Uh, I always remember now, because of the Giant. It's the Last Giant and the Lost Sinner. But we're going to go down into the depths. We'll do this first, because why not? So let's jump down here... Did I get the cool ass boots? No, unfortunately. So there are boots that you can get that reduce fall damage. And they're like kitty boots. They're like the feline boots. I don't I didn't get them, unfortunately. I could have got them last time. There's something you have to do to get them. I think you have to beat Royal Sorcerer and Avalon, which I didn't do. I didn't do his quest line. So that's why I didn't really I couldn't get them. We'll be doing his quest line this time though, so we will be getting them. I'm completely messing up those words, but we will be getting them. I will be doing his quest line. So don't you worry. So here we are. At the next, or the other... What is it called? Rat Covenant area. My words are slipping from my brain very, very fast. The Rat Covenant area, the next one, even though we didn't go to the first one. Technically, this is the first one. It's the easier of the two, in my opinion. So, I always forgot. We had more slots because I equipped that ring... So, you know what I'm going to do?
that. Now we can see Heavenly Thunder. So this is Heavenly Thunder. It's badass. Granted, it's not very reliable. It's not like, you know, you aim at something and you shoot. It's There's a good chance you won't hit what you're going to hit. Well, there's a good chance you will hit what you want to hit, but it's kind of unreliable. So here we go. Let's see if I get summoned. If I do, that'll be fun. If I don't, which is more likely, mainly because this is just an area where you don't get summoned a lot, that's fine too. I'm not going to wait here to be summoned, though. I'm just going to kill everything as we go. Whoa. Get my life gems on. Son of a bitch. These things always come out of nowhere. Alright. God, I just realized, going back to Dark Souls 1, I'd probably be like, where are my life gems? Because, like, in Dark Souls 1... You didn't really use consumables to heal. I mean, well, never mind. I was never into PvP a lot. Yes, use humanity, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about just, like, you know, life gem style things. Or, like, the grass. The moonlight stuff in, uh, the moonlight grass in Dark Souls. Or Demon Souls. Or Demon's Souls. But, yeah, you never really used that in Dark Souls 1. Except for the humanity, which, you know. We're actually gonna open this real quick. Like, I think I'd be like, whoa, where, where's my stuff? I mean, I guarantee you can get 20 SS flasks instead of 12, but still, I'd be kind of confused. It's weird to get used to an older game. Just like it was weird to get used to Dark Souls 2 when I was gone from Dark Souls 1. Whoa, hello! It's okay, I didn't steal your moss. I can't hold it. Well, oh, I'm being summoned as a great spirit! No way! PvP! Oh, I'm gonna die. No... I didn't think I was going to get summoned. I honestly did not think I was going to get summoned. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Where is he? Oh, fuck me, douchebag. And that's a GG. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I drink my water, damn it. Oh, winning that actually... I'm sorry. Oh god, I was really thirsty. I always get really nervous when I go into PvP. I'm not expecting it. I literally wasn't expecting to be summoned. It's something that doesn't happen too much. Um, but that's kind of cool. Just like the Bell Bros, when you get summoned here and you win, you everything repairs, you get full health, all that. So my sword actually went back to full strength. So that's kind of cool. What I'm going to do real quickly... I'm going to use Dried Fingers. What Dried Fingers does is it resets the cooldown that invasions can happen. Like, you can... I think... I'm not 100% sure how this works, but I th think it works here, since you're the one who's being summoned, and it's not your choice. And I think it works for the bell bros if you are the one inside the, inside the bell. Not the bell bro, because when you go inside the bell tower... And you get killed by an invader, I'm pretty sure, or you kill the invaders, I'm pretty sure there's a cooldown the next time you go in until, like, for, like, five minutes until the next invaders come. So I'm pretty sure this resets it. So what I'm hoping is that since I reset it, I'm going to do it again, I get summoned again so I can kill people. Because that was funny. I'd really like to be summoned again. I actually did the Bell Covenant, or not the Bell Covenant, the Rat Covenant for the longest time on my PS3 Dark Souls 2. Uh, just because, I, I thought it was so fun. Fun, my god. I did the Bell Covenant and the Rat Covenant. I did both of them for the longest time. It was so much fun. Doesn't look like I'm going to be summoned, unfortunately. Which is okay, I wasn't really expecting much. So, let's go on in. Probably should have got a second Soul Appease. But whatever.
Let's obviously wait until they bunch up and start killing a few of them. Because remember, you want to do this when they're all bunched together so we can get a mass amount of damage off really quickly like this. There we go. You want to kill a bunch really quickly. That only gave me 420 souls. Keep that in mind. I killed like so many and I got like 120 souls or 420 souls. Which isn't many. So I'm going to wait until the royal rat comes down here, which he should be coming down very shortly. In fact, I should kill them all again right now. Reset the playing field. There we go. Killed most of them. Okay, he's down now. So I'm pretty sure that's, you know... I can pick him out. This is it, right here. The one right... I'm... I can't lock onto him. Hold on. Him. If you, if you want to know how you can tell which is which, he has redder ears. Like, there's blood on his ears. They're more blood-stained than the rest of them. So... Plus, once you start doing damage to him, he doesn't have a health meter, because his health meter's at the bottom. That's another way you can tell. If you find one that doesn't have a health meter, that's him. Did I kill literally every... I, I'm, my words are screwing up, but I think I killed every single rat. I didn't see any retreat except for that one, and I killed it. Fuck yeah. What's up, Rat King? Goodbye, Rat King. I would join you, because I love your covenant, however... No need to. Not right now. Sorry, bro. Although I'd really like to join him right now and just PvP, but I wouldn't find anyone. That's the thing. See that one guy who summoned me? I was probably his only guy for the longest time. I was probably like it probably is like a ten minute wait for the next summon, which like it just really sucks that it is that way. Cause I really love the the rat coven. It's so much fun. But what can you do? You can't do a thing. Okay. I'm gonna miss this jump. I don't even need this item. I have it already. But, oh, I'm not gonna miss it. Wow. Nice. I'm a bross. I'm a bross. I'm not a boss. I'm a bross. Bross. Yeah, that's right, I'm a brass. It's okay. Charcoal pine resin can't pick it up, because I have too many. And hello, Mr. Red. How are you doing? Oh, hello, second Mr. Red. Or is it Miss Red? I don't know. We got Soul of a Great Hero. Oh. And we have possibly... I think it's a girl. Could easily be a guy. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, what are you doing there, sir? I don't think so, ma'am, madam, sir. Whatever you were trying, that wasn't a very polite thing to do. Whoa. I think he's scared. There we go. Good night. We have dinghy robe plus five, dinghy uh, hood plus five, cuffs plus five, blood stain, scare plus five, ring of soul protection. So that's the full set, I believe. All maxed out. They're pretty cool. Th that was what she was wearing, or he. I, I think it was a she. It it's a pretty cool set. In all honesty, if you have a girl character, even a guy character wearing that stuff, it's actually pretty cool looking. I, I tend to like that armor. Well, clothing. It's not really armor. But it's kind of cool if you're doing like a cleric thing. You know, like she is. I think I just crapped myself a little bit because I thought I was going to die. If I went to the bottom, I'd been dead, but... Holy shit, I tensed up so much. My back hurts because I tensed up so bad. Holy fuck. I thought that was it. Man, that scared the fuck out of me. That's not cool, man. Dark Souls, that's not cool. Come on, don't do that. Okay. This place always scares me. That, like, specific part always fucking scares me. Life gem. We can go here, like this. Let's quickly heal up. I guess I'll switch the ring out, because I don't need this one anymore. We'll put the ring of blades on. Okay. Dung pie. Okay, we 
one over here. Hello. Hello. It's a family of hollows. Look, they set up a part. You know, it's really creepy though. If you actually watch uh, Vadi Vidya, Vadi Vidya, his video of um, the gutter. If you don't know who Vadi Vidya is, look him up and get out of your. Get out from under your rock. But he actually does a really cool thing about the gutter. How that family, they're just, you know, they're this is where the trash is thrown. You know, this is where, like, like this is like the Blight Town Dark Souls. Obviously, everyone thinks that. But no, this is where the trash is thrown. And they were trying to make a live life for themselves. You know, inside their home, they had a little, you know, they, they, were, they still had a little bit of humanity left. They were trying to be human. You know, live a little bit of a life, have a family. And he just barred right and killed them all. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's Dark Souls. You being, you're gonna die. It's just, it's Dark Souls. It's the way of the game. Can you back up? Can you're really freaking me out here? Here, go this way. You don't want to do that. Yeah, I really don't want to fight him right here. This is like a terrible spot to fight him at. Okay. See what I mean? That poke really does come in handy. But jeez, that was a terrible spot to fight. The gutter is a terrible spot to fight. Okay. It's going up. Let's try and get the next bonfire. Get up! Masterfully done. I'm just like congratulating myself on kills. I'm very sad, I know. Okay, so. I'm gonna go this way. I fucking hate the gutter so much. Wait, I don't wanna go this way, do I? Don't move. Holy shit, that was very close. Oh man, that was close as hell. You just kept going down. Okay, no, that's not the way I wanted to go. I always get lost in here. I think it's down here that I want to go, yeah. This is it. Nope. Nope. Oh, give me a kiss. No, I actually don't. Oh, what are you stuck? You're gonna fall. It's okay, but oh. So, <laughs> um, if 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 you guys see that happening and you don't understand what is wrong, so I th I think I'm like ninety. I'm almost certain. I know what happens there. I know why that happens. Uh, it's actually pretty self-explanatory. The way FromSoft tries to combat glitching, I guess. I mean, it could just be just to make sure you don't get stuck. And you can actually, you know, complete the game still. Because you don't have any homeward bones, you get stuck, you're screwed. But you can dark sign, but... You know. But the way um, FromSoft tries to stop glitching... Like I said, this could be for other reasons, too. Is... That if you get stuck in a place where you're constantly falling, or like you're in like a spot you're not, these things can throw up on you. I've never had that before. You're in a spot you're not supposed to be. It'll instantly kill you. I have a video up of me doing it to another player. Uh, he got stuck in between two pieces of wood, and he was constantly falling. He couldn't do anything. Well, he wasn't really falling, but he was in. A, he was just completely stuck in the wall, or well, rather in the floor in this situation, and he couldn't do anything. So, basically, it killed him. And that's what happened to the dog. When you get stuck, it'll kill you. I don't know if it's to free you or just to prevent bugs. Or, or prevent people glitching. I don't I don't know which it is for. I guess it could be for both, but... I don't know. So what do we get here? The Wicked Eye Great Shield. Okay, yeah, now I remember this area. Son of a bitch. Hello. I wish I could backstab this stupid dog. I hate these things. 
It's okay when you kill him that fast, doesn't matter. This great sword, I'm really liking it. This is only plus four still, keep that in mind, and I'm loving it. So this will definitely be a weapon I'm gonna use for a while. Of course, I might switch back to the axe for PvP and this for PvP. I like to vary my weapons. So let's quickly get over here. Roll. And light. And might as well rest. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's frustration. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.